that are in attendance. Uh, we thank you for showing up pretty much on short notice. Uh, we thought the message that we wanted to deliver today uh, is important, important enough to uh, have a press conference and to get it out all at one time. Uh, the purpose of this uh, press conference is to send a message uh, to the St. Louis region and the St. Louis community. And, and it stems from the fact that there are very extreme concerns and an emphasis that has been placed on preserving uh, the safety and, and security of our community uh, pending and even after the grand jury decision in the Mike Brown Jr. case. Those of us present on this stage, since they, we sensed a deep duty and an obligation to join in that concern and to address it independently. Today we want to make clear that the disciples of justice, what we call DOJs, uh, which are represented by the men behind me, uh, will make an attempt to maintain a vigilant presence during any and all pro-democracy demonstrations. Back in August, some of you may already know and may have already seen these shirts. Uh, back in August, Al Sharpton commissioned an army of men and women whose primary responsibility during outdoor demonstrations uh, was to maintain internal peace, order, and decorum. Uh, these gentlemen and ladies, uh, who the main leaders are, are here, there are over uh, 50 to 75 of them that are represented in total. Um, they have vowed to make efforts to prevent violent outbursts and reactions from otherwise peaceful demonstrations while they are exercising their First Amendment rights. We felt that it was important to make sure that those members of our community and public and region knew that these young men and women would be present working uh, towards the same objectives as law enforcement uh, and on the other side of what we would call the line on the internal aspects of any peaceful demonstration. We have received numerous calls, uh, emails, and text messages expressing concerns from people and members of our community about their safety. Uh, there are members of our community that are on edge, they're anxious, they're nervous, they're fearful, they're scared. They range from the young to the very old, uh, people have expressed concerns about their medicine and being able to get to medicine. I mean, by and large, let's just face it, the city is really in a panic at this point uh, in anticipation of this decision. So um, as a person who is a member of our community and those of us that stand here, we just thought that we would send this message to those that were concerned about people involved in the demonstration and what steps and what actions we plan to take in order to keep peaceful and calm protesting. As a lawyer for the family and on behalf of the family, I reiterate for the umpteenth time, and they wanted me to make it crystal clear, they do not advocate any violence, any uh, looting, any rioting. They are totally against that. And joining with the Disciples of Justice today is just another sign from this family that they stand by that commitment to this community. At this point, I want to uh, turn the mic over to Reverend Carlton Lee, who will speak further on this issue. And following uh, Carlton Lee, we will have Eddie Hassan, who is the organizer and one of the leaders of the uh, Disciples of Justice. And you'll hear from him shortly. I want to say thank you to Attorney Gray, to all of you all that are here present on today. Um, earlier part of this week, Attorney, I mean, Governor Nixon declared a state of emergency in, a, in what seemed to be one of the most calmer periods of time. Uh, it was a complete and utter shock to us all, and immediately our phones were flooded, uh, as Attorney Gray stated, from people of all walks of life with their concerns. Uh, in particular, I know I've been reached out uh, by several senior citizens and they were concerned about uh, what will be done. Will they be able to make it to their doctor's appointments? Will they be able to make it to their, um, to go get their medicine? Or will they be able to make it to church or 
other uh, functions that they may have had going on. They were very concerned about that because when the governor initiated the state of emergency, he did not uh, go into detail about it. It was something that was quietly done, but uh, it spread like wildfire. So uh, the Disciples of Justice, uh, let it be known that this is what we do. This is, this is who we are. We stand up for justice. And um, just like Attorney Gray said earlier, uh, is that we would be the ones that are on the front line. Uh, we thank uh, Mr. Eddie Hassan for all that he is doing and his work that he's doing with these young men uh, alike that have been out there on the front lines since August the 9th. We're 104 days uh, from the day that Michael Brown Jr. was murdered in the street on Canfield Drive. Uh, the people have just as many questions 104 days later than we had uh, four and a half hours later as he was still laying on the ground getting ready to be picked up. So we have all those questions that, that we're looking for to be answered. Uh, and so we want the community to rest in assured knowing uh, that the disciples of justice will continue to be out each and every night. Uh, we want the police to know that the disciples of justice will be out each and every night. It's not, I'm not saying it in a threatening manner at all. I'm just saying that we are out and we are watching everything that is going on uh, from both sides of the fence, from protesters as well as uh, the police. And as the pastor of Michael Brown Sr. and his family, uh, let me say this, I uh, talked to him a little bit earlier, and, and one of the things he said was, Pastor Lee, I just want everybody to remain calm and remain peaceful throughout this, uh, throughout this time, no matter what the decision is from the grand jury. I echo those same sentiments and say uh, that we're asking for everyone in the community and abroad to remain peaceful. Peaceful demonstration is what we're all for, uh, and I agree with Attorney Gray for the umpteenth time. Uh, we are still calling for peace at this time. I'll give it over to Brother Eddie Hassan. Thank you, Pastor Lee. Uh, the Disciples of Justice is, is exactly what it is. And uh, like Reverend Lee had indicated that we've been on the front line uh, from day one in terms of individuals on the front line maintaining peace. And that's the whole goal. Uh, Reverend Sharpton came in here to be able to support this family. And this is another extension of his support for not only family, but for the community. And, uh, and not only are we talking about, this is another level of indication, if you will, that we want peace in the street, we want, we want demonstrations to go forward, and we want them to be most certainly comfortable with that demonstration. But in the same light of our action, we're looking for the action on the other side to be equally as committed to peace in the street, and peace for the demonstrators, and peace for those who want to protest. So we're looking for that to be equally committed on the other side. We're looking for uh, the police department, the National Guard, Homeland Security to be as equally committed to peaceful demonstrations and peaceful, and peaceful expressions from our community. So we're showing you that we are committed to peace in the streets. And we have stepped up the level of that to make sure that people understand that you got people designated in the streets to make sure that we have peaceful demonstrations. And this is just another level. All of the disciples of justice won't necessarily have on. Piece of demonstrations. We too are calling for that. So when you see the people in the streets, know that the information and the message of peaceful demonstrations is what most of them all of them that I've talked to is adhering to that. So we want that to be very clear moving forward because we're watching the heavy-handed action that's been taking place with all of the police that's present. We want them to understand that our people will be peaceful and they will demonstrate whatever the situation is. Just like Mike Brown indicated, senior, that whatever the decision is, we're going to be peaceful and we're going to demonstrate peacefully. Because I think that we all have an opportunity at this stage and at this juncture of time and history to be able to make sure that this don't repeat itself. And that's by changing the things that have led up to this. And I've talked to people as early as today, as late as today, with that commitment in this community. Okay? So it's not just a Jay Nixon uh, commitment. It's a people commitment for peace in the streets. And that's what we represent. We represent the people. And we want the people protected. We want the police to know that they're not only protecting the property of the business owners, but they're also protecting individuals who pay their salary as, as, as taxpaying people. They're here to protect us as well. 